this summer. Grab the whole family and enjoy some beautiful stargazing. So excited about this. The freshly renovated George Observatory in Brazos Bend State Park. Yeah, it's operated by the Houston Museum of Natural Science. And Lauren Kelly learned more about their two-year renovation by chatting with senior director Kavita Self. <laughs> George Observatory is so special because it is one of the only observatories with the kinds of telescopes that we have that are available and accessible to the public. We're located in Brazos Bend State Park, so it's such an easy drive from Houston. And it allows folks who, you know, in an urban area, due to the landscape, due to the light dome, we, we kind of lose contact with the night sky. And this is a way for you to drive out maybe 45 minutes, out into an area that's in this beautiful state park surrounded by farmland. So we retain more of the dark sky out there and you get to see more things than you would in the city. So we, I will say, even though in the city, I'll sometimes look up at the sky and think, wow, look at how crystal clear of a night it is. And look at all those stars up there. So we would love to have you come out and then compare that experience <laughs> to what you would see at the observatory. Because actually we, we put in an exhibit about light pollution and we took the same shot, the same view and showed it to you in different, you know, with different lighting conditions. And even folks who are astronomers in their backyards in the city, when they manage to make that drive out there and really get into that dark sky space, we we get a lot of oohs and ahs. I bet it's completely breathtaking, totally different experience. Now, Kavita, I want you to tell everybody about the renovations because it just went under a lengthy two-year renovation plan, right? Yes. So this is an interesting story. The observatory opened 30 years ago um, and being in this beautiful, wild, natural setting that we are in, in the state park, it can make long-term and short-term maintenance a challenge, as you would expect. Then you add in some major wind and rain events that took place over the last five years and also then a desire really to just update ourselves and our offerings for the next 30 years. You know, we were able to not only address like infrastructure issues, but we were able to completely redo the exhibit area. We were able to um, bring in some new technology that allow us to still show our visitors what the telescopes see while still preserving all the protocols that we need to. Kavita, thank you so much for sharing all this information. I cannot wait to get out there and experience the George Observatory. Thank you for your time and all this wonderful information. Absolutely, Lorian. Come, come get lost in space with us. So exciting. Don't forget, advanced tickets are required before you head out to the George. For more information, just log on to HoustonLife.tv. They have so many great programs out there. It's good to see their new home is finally up and running. Yeah, ever since I was a kid, I've always been fascinated by and with observatories. Mm -hmm. I just think there's something fascinating about the night sky, and it looks like they're back and better than ever. It's so great. And